What is going on guys, my name is Mad Dog Games and welcome to another step by step combo guide where I'll be breaking everything down by steps of our parts so I can make it super and simple for you guys to do. In today's video we'll be learning how to do an advanced combo for Sonya. Our main combo is meterless and it's a meat screen combo. We have a lot of things to cover here so here's what we're going to be doing throughout the video. If you guys are new and looking for combos that are broken down as a step for other characters, then don't worry because I have a series that you should check out in the description down below. This is the 9th episode in the series. If you guys are wanting a step by step combo for your character, let me know in the comments down below. Now the good thing about this combo is that this can be done in any variation. Anyways with that being said, let us start off with round 1. Part 1, the way you want to start this combo you want to do overwatch, which is back 1, 2, 3. Alright, for part 2, next you want to add dash into unconditional surrender, which is forward forward and then 3-3. Three, three. Part 3, now you want to dash again into at ease, which is forward forward then 1-3-4. Part 4, now you want to add ass whooping which is back forward 2. Round 2. Bonus Tips. In this part of the video, we're going to be talking about mistakes, other alternative combos, and strategies for using this combo. For someone that is picking up Sonya for the first time, a common mistake you'll find is not being able to dash quick enough to connect all this combo. So the best way to do this is by first building muscle memory on micro dashing. Micro dashing is being able to quickly cancel into your next attack. The faster you dash cancel, the best likely the opponent will remain airborne. It all starts with successfully dashing into 3-3. Once you place your opponent at the highest peak, you have to immediately micro dash next. Otherwise, this will happen. This is an advanced combo, so if you're not comfortable with the dash mechanic yet, don't worry, I highly suggest go with the alternative version. I just wanted to provide her new optimal combo after her recent nerf. Now another mistake I can see beginners making is relying on this combo starter for pressure and damage. Try not to make yourself predictable. If you use this combo starter all the time, your back 1-2-3 combo starter will get countered and punished. As Sonya, your game plan is to approach your opponent in many ways by zoning, grabbing, poking, setups, punishes, and other types of mix-ups and pressure. That way it keeps your opponent on their toes. Sonya does very well in far, mid, and close range. She might not have the biggest combos anymore, but does have pretty good damage and tools to pressure your opponent in most situations. Alternative Combos If you're having trouble with micro dashing and timing between all the attacks, Here's an alternative easier option. This one does not require a micro dash, just a standard dash. But just know you'll be sacrificing some of the damage for easier execution. Now this one requires no dash for those who have not mastered the dash cancel mechanic. Now if you're looking for a wake up combo, there is one that is similar. Combo Strategy One of the best things I like about Sonya, enhancing ass whooping not only will add more damage but will push your opponent more for corner carry. In the corner, you have the opportunity to continue your pressure, setups, or deal more damage by using corner combos. Corner combos is one situation we all should prepare for. Being ready and being able to deal max amount of damage in the corner will get you one step closer to winning the match. With that being said, here's her corner combos. Since Sonya does offer some mix up options, low and overhead attacks that could lead to a combo, it is important to condition your opponent with these starters, that way it keeps your opponent guessing. Here are her low combo attack that you can use to condition your opponent with, and once they block low, you can use your main overhead combo. Nah. 
Round 3 in this section, we're gonna learn essential tools to finish your opponent off, such as learning Sonya's crushing blow combos and fatal blow combos, as well as learn some nice character overview. Now the first requirement to trigger this crushing blow is by punishing or countering your opponent by uppercutting. The next requirement to trigger this is by countering your opponent with her anti-air control. Now fatal blow combos, the only requirement for performing this combo is that you'll need to be at least 30% or less than 30% health. This is more of a comeback situation, a combo to get you ready if you get the chance. One last thing before we end our journey is the new character overview at the end of each video. I want to talk about the pros and cons or strengths and weaknesses for playing that character. Now for the pros, Sonya has great damage potential, has good mix up options, low end overhead that can throw your opponent off, does have one of the best zoning in the game because if you enhance her projectile, it will turn to a mid from a high and if it lands, it has a crushing blow tied to it, so it's very dangerous. And then lastly, Sonya offer many tools for all ranges. Now for the cons for playing Sonya, she does require fast input timing. For some of her combos, you'll notice you have to be very quick, such as micro dashing combo we just learned. Second is her high execution. For variation that involves a projectile cancel, some of her combos does need high execution. And then lastly, her main combo juggle is gone. For some of us, it's a big deal because now you have to rely on other juggles which is harder to land. Anyways, looking for more combo guides, please take a moment and subscribe for future videos and remember to check out the playlist in the description. If your character's not there, let me know in the comments down below. My name is Metal Games and I'll see you guys next time.